It is time to give out some roses. And we are giving some roses to some of our favorite people. That young Clippers team back in 2000 was fun to watch. But the main reason we want to celebrate Darius Miles and Quentin Richardson, everyone talks about how tough it is after your career to find your footing. And yet these two have done it very gracefully. Co-hosts of the Knuckleheads podcast, Q and Darius. You guys have been guests. I haven't been a guest yet, but that's okay. Well, Good we, to we, have you guys. We're hoopers. Yeah, that's true. You know what? When we, was it, playing against, when we was playing against the Clippers, there was a real rivalry there, but I could never dog these two young guys out. I used to see them at the club. I'd make sure they're straight. Uh, one time, I think it was Darius Miles was speeding on the highway. I had to put them lights on <laughs> and, you know, uh, I'll pull them over. But, you know, they're very talented. They, they always played us hard. They always played us tough. But I really enjoyed these two. Before we, we get Q and Darius, a lot of this Reddit was very excited we were having them on. First comment that I saw from Reddit was very simple, two taps to the dome. And we're all yeah. doing it on set right now. Which they stole from me. Uh, ask them. Yeah. Ask them. Uh, all right, let's ask them. Uh, ask them. No, 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 ask them. Is this true, guys? Ask them. Listen, listen. The person, ask him. The big, the big fella absolutely knows where some, where, where the origin of it uh, comes from. But we, 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 we definitely got it from from Trevor Ariza and those Westchester High School Hoops boys. They no. say, yes, <laughs> big fella. Yes, <laughs> big fella. <laughs> <laughs> do, <that. laughs> nice do, do not do that. Stop that. But, but look. I like that they took it to the next level. Like I don't, you know, like that. So you're really saying you came up with it? I did. Darius, your thoughts? I did. Uh, I, I did see Big Fella do it a, a few times. Thank you, see? Okay. <laughs> oh, he lied. No, no, but look, 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 he lied. Look, look at the style, he lied. <laughs> but look, we, we are homies. And, and again, like I said, I enjoyed these two brothers. So when they was doing it, it ain't like I was, that was before I did that. Now, Big Fella definitely put let, let us know that he rocked with us. He had us to his house one time for New Year's, man. And that was one of the funnest, one of the most fun days me and D-Miles had as some young boys. Spending New Year's with Big Fella in his house. He opened his house up to us, man. We had a great time, and he let us know he rocked with us right then. And, you know, it was, it's been love ever since. Wade, I got a question for you. Is it true that you had a picture of Quentin Richardson in your locker for a few years? I had a poster, not a picture. That's two different things. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the same thing. No, no, no. A picture. A and picture. A, a, <laughs> that's two different things, right, right. Kenny? What? That's yeah, two different it's things. It becomes a poster. It's the same no, thing. No, no. no. Oh, y'all tripping right now. Y'all tripping right now. Y'all is tripping right now. We got a little Polaroid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Yes. See so, what I got to deal with? Oh, hell no. It's the I, same I, thing. I, um, a poster and a picture is different. Okay. So Take I had a away, poster man. of Q Rich in my locker <laughs> when I was in high school. Q Rich was my favorite. Outside of Michael Jordan, mm. Q Rich was my favorite player. So I. I had the same, and Q Rich, know we've talked about this many times. Me and Q Rich shared the same coach, Gary Adams, RIP Gary to Gary. Adams. Gary told me to watch Quinn Richardson's game. He was like, if you want to be a pro, do this, pretty much. And I played exactly like Q Rich did in high school. So I idolized him. Wow. Well, for me, yeah. Q, you going out west from the Midwest, like you and D Miles going out west from the Midwest and going mm -hmm. out there and kind of bringing that like Midwestern swag, swag and style, <laughs> and just seeing how you guys kind of transcended and kind of carried with you that young culture. So I just, for me, I, I you know I tried to follow in your footsteps a little bit going out to Hollywood and um, bringing that Midwestern mentality. Uh, how was that? You know, making that transition and doing it together. Oh, it was it was great, you know, especially when I found out Q Kent was coming with me and we uh we took a private jet to LA and you no know, no the whole palm tree things and all that stuff. It, it just hit us hard and man, we loved it right away. Adam, I have a question. I'm not gonna talk to them too because they always double team me. So, <laughs> so if a picture and a poster is different, is a soda a soft drink? It's yeah. pop. No, it's pop. In the West, it's though. It's pop. It's pop. We call yeah, it pop. It's pop in the Midwest. Hey, hey, down, down south Illinois, we call it soda now. <laughs> soda. I call it soda, too. That's why it's the difference between East St. Louis and Chicago. We all got love, but it's pop at the crib. <laughs> pop, for real, at the so, crib? Pop. Adam, let, let, me share, let me share a, a D-Miles story. So, everybody out there that don't know, D-Miles and I play AU basketball together. 
And it was D-Miles' team. I, I just so happened to get on the team. And, <laughs> um, and I remember one game, Shaq, I had about 25. I didn't caught about three bodies. So I'm feeling good about myself after the game, right? And the reporter come up to me. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's about me, y'all. Step back. He was like, hey, so how is it uh, room, been, in, been roommates with Darius Miles? I'm like, uh, well, he, he all right. He's like, well, what do we eat? How, what, what do Darius Miles I'm like, yo, I just had 25, and I caught three bodies. Well, I'm, all I did my whole AU experience was ask, answer, ask questions and answer questions about Darius Miles. But he was, that, he was that dude. Like, he had that swag. He was 6'9 with handles, dunk yeah. on you. And I, I like to say, man, he took me along with him. I was, I, I mean, obviously I became someone in the NBA, but in high school, I was not on Darius Miles' level. Mm. And he, didn't, he did not at no point make me feel that I wasn't on his level. He took me like this on his arms, and we were everywhere together in the AU. So I appreciate you for doing that for me, my guy. Uh, <laughs> Let me uh, show a moment that Reddit thinks about also with Darius dunking, uh, talking about uh, an oop that Darius finished that made this one fan a Clipper fan for a decade. So this is coming from low. Reddit. Mm. Oh, oh, don't put your feet oh. on his head. Hey, that was a shout out to MJ off the free throw line. Pop. That was a shout out to MJ, see? And this is hey. the oop. <laughs> hey, I man, yeah, I'm glad y'all showed that, because D-Miles, we be on the show, D-Miles be acting like, you know what I'm saying, I ain't never used to dunk and everything like that. I'm glad y'all showed some dunk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, D-Way, he be Dude, trying to you had bounce. Hey, D Way, he be acting like I didn't know, bro. He act like I didn't have bounce and I ain't play no defense. Like he be, I don't know. He, man. Before. he had to get real close to the rim and jump high. That's what oh. you know, they say, hey, see, see, you know they say Kane, Kane, you know they say Kane killed A, but now you see him now. Just well, you know, Q, you was a two foot, you was a two foot jumper. So I, I get what he's saying. You weren't <laughs> taking off from the inside the free throw line like me and D Miles was, you know what I mean? Know that. This slander is so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> this is well, we talk Shaq, I can't believe this right now. And where your boy at? Michael Alakawande. Where you at? <laughs> <laughs> oh my Shout goodness. out to the candy man. Yeah, where the candy, candy man? What's man. happening, baby? Shaq, uh, you are such an esteemed <laughs> actor. I'm curious what you thought about Darius Miles and Quentin Richards' acting career. Uh, they did a fabulous job. This was yeah, in Van Wilder. Wilder. Was big can now, we get a Van clip? Wilder. Yeah, no, it was big. big. No, it can was we get a big. Clip? This yes, is, we, we like folk legends. We legendary blood. Let me see. This ball club is the heart of this institution. You win, it there's beats. There's the candy man. Well, there's candy. You're not locking up, Big Papa. You're my Windex man. I want you shining glass. Quick, you got a D up out there. Darius, I want you all over that ball like a fat kid on a cupcake. Man. What are you looking at? What a movie. Van Wilder. Yeah, that was a good Hey, man, movie. you know what I'm saying? Me and Ryan, me, D. Miles, and Ryan Reynolds is homeboys. We go back and we be <laughs> like tight that. like that. Simone like, and Ramon go, we tight like that. Still waiting on my Oscars for all that, all the movies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, D Miles, D Miles always saying he been Denzel and he been in a few. I mean, D Miles was he was doing it early. He was doing it. <laughs> well, I'm okay. here right now. I'm waiting on Marvel to call. He was, a, you know, he was in the one movie where they went and took, you know, Captain America, Black Widow, all of them. He like they supposed to call him. Marvel forgot to call him. Now he's supposed to be the blackest <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm curious, Darius, I need to hear this story. How was Shax acting when he apparently pulled you over that time? Uh, I didn't even look at him. I was kind of preparing myself, and then when I turned <laughs> to the level, it was him. It, was, it just shocked me. Like, man, you just made me late for practice. You got to pay my fine now. <laughs> Wait, so what did you do to him, Shaq? He was speeding. I just wanted to tell him, you know, slow down. And so you put the lights on? <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. Stuff. Okay. The limitation's not up yet. <laughs> <laughs> he know what I did. I know what I did. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, yo, uh, another, another, I like to share these because it's personal, but another thing that these guys alone away and helped me with was my first year in college, I set out, I redshirted my first year, and these guys were in L.A., playing for the Clippers. I just played AU basketball with D-Miles the year before. Q Rich and I have became, you know, friends over the years. But these guys stayed on three-way with me throughout the entire year. We would talk on three-way. That's when people actually talked on the phone and three-way was the thing. <laughs> and them guys kept me going. It was like, D-Way, next year you're going to be here. Next year, even though I didn't believe them, they, they kept <laughs> pumping that into me, you know what I mean? So, like, once again, man, like, this is, this is what you call brotherhood. You know, when, when guys who, you know, have made it, you know, they... They, don't, they never treated me like they made it and I didn't. And when they came to Milwaukee, me and, me and C. Dale Q. Rich, we snuck out the hotel, came down to the hotel, 
and like yeah. they had a mini bar. We was like, oh, you got a mini bar? <laughs> like, <laughs> it was a thing, man. So like watching these guys' career, man, and, you know, from a fan perspective and a friend perspective, uh, man, it was just a treat, and they took us along that journey with them, though. So man, I, I like to get them. I sent you back to campus with them, with, with them, with them Jays, with them threes on them. When you told them, yeah, they want me. Jordan Brand want me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went. I, I, I took some shoes from Q Rich crib back when I was in college, and I went back to school and started jacking. Like, yeah, Jordan sent me these. He got my number on them. <laughs> 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 it was Q Rich number, but don't, nobody knew that at school. So <laughs> first time I seen these guys was not on the court. They came to L.A. and work on the summer. <clears throat> it was a hot club, I forgot the name of the club. So when I get to the club, they standing in front. So I told the dude, I said, hey, man, these dudes going to be stars. Let them in. Lame in it up. I said, no, 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 let, let them in. Let's go and let them in. And I got them in the club. He was like, thanks, big fella. And I was like, good luck. Y'all be careful out here. And that was the first time I saw him. They were just, they hey, used nice. to be hard times you know, out just, there, you know, bro. Hard times. Like, nah, nah. He said it used to be hard like, times. Them two, they with me, get them in the club. He said it was hard times out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But D Miles wasn't old enough to go in the clubs yet. That's why it was hard times. That's why it was hard times. Time. <laughs> time. time. He was a cute little kid standing in line. I said, like, hey man, what y'all doing? He said, man, they won't let us in. I was like, hey man, they with me. Okay, Mr. O'Neill. Him yeah, and him. Four and five. Four, Four and five. five. Yeah. Big fella. <laughs> Yeah. Guys. Love y'all, brothers. Thank you so much for Love joining us. Love y'all boys, man. Congratulations on yeah. everything. Always check out the Knuckleheads pod. Guys, thank you so much. Hey, thank, thank y'all for having us. Awesome. Man, I can see Wade, like, I feel like they were like your big brothers. They are, bro. I never I, knew I, those I stories. Be, yeah, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for those guys, man. That's awesome. I just know in AAU, this is all I used to do. And I did it for them, not for you, Shaq. Just FYI. Shaq, you did the. You did I came this. In, I was told. You didn't I did do it this. once, and I got a call. I was like, yo, you better not ever do that again. Yeah, ever. <laughs> <laughs> so let me. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.